Dr. William Palmer, born August the 6th, 1824. A man born into a respectable middle-class family and trained as a doctor in London and at Stafford Infirmary, where rumours of gambling and drinking fast began. Further tales began that he stole money and he had a reputation as a ladies' man. His pursuit of wanting to be wealthy led him into a slippery slope when his gambling on horses was to leave him in a large amount of debt. He was thought to have had a keen interest in poisons kept in the dispensary, to the point where people felt it was unhealthy and unusual. At one time he alleged to have poisoned a colleague, but this wasn't proved. At the time, lots of poisons were being used in a conventional way in medicines to help those who were ill. No one would ever guess what was to follow. A cold, wet October night, the newly qualified doctor, Mr. Palmer, asks to meet a local townsman plumber, Mr. George Abley, and a local pub for some beverages. A bet was made between Dr. Palmer and Mr. Abley to drink copious amounts of brandy. However, Abley won the bet and later left, albeit falling violently ill. Sometime later, Mr. Abley's body was found, dead, inside the stables directly outside the pub. This was to be the first mysterious death recorded during Dr. Palmer's time. The coroner's report for Mr. Abley stated that his death was due to natural causes. It was also mentioned that Mr. Abley suffered with TB and that he could have died from this, which may have been exasperated by the adverse weather conditions and by alcohol poisoning. However, no further investigation or research on his death was ever carried out. Rumours spread fast surrounding Abley's death within the village and gossip was rife. Questions were asked surrounding the exact nature of Dr. Palmer's relationship with Abley's wife, who was a regular patient of the doctor. Dr. Palmer was to wed a woman named Anne Thornton, who was also known comfortably as Annie. She was the daughter of an affluent family who owned numerous properties within the Rugeley area. Annie's mother, Mrs. Mary Thornton, was instantly disheartened to hear of her daughter's wedding and took an instant dislike to Dr. Palmer. But just a few years later, Mary would be living with her son-in-law as she had fallen ill. Within a short few weeks, on January the 18th, 1849, Mary passed away and she was only 50 years old. Following years of alcohol abuse, which was seen to be coincidental timing, Dr. Palmer was assumed to be expectant that his new wife would benefit from the death of her mother's will. However, he was wrong. Mary Thornton surprisingly left nothing to her daughter, leaving Dr. Palmer in awe. Perhaps he underestimated her. Leonard Bladener died. He was a guest in the house of the Palmers. The only other family member of Palmer to have died aged 62 and yet there was no suspicion surrounding his death. A very unusual amount of people would soon be found dead following appointments with Dr. Palmer. Some were patients, some creditors. Also, during this time, his wife had become a mother to five children, but only one survived and outlived him. Elizabeth Palmer died just two and a half months old. Their son Henry Palmer died and he was one month old. Frank had died just seven hours following his birth. And John Palmer died after being around for just four days. Annie fell ill and was diagnosed by another doctor as suffering from cholera, an infectious and often fatal bacterial disease of the small intestine, typically contracted from infected water supplies and causing severe vomiting and diarrhoea. A few days later, she died. Annie was only 27 years old. After Annie died, it transpired that Dr. Palmer had taken out a large life insurance policy on her just a couple of weeks prior. By the time of Annie's death, he had only made one payment to the policy. He was paid out approximately £13,000 for her death. In today's money, this equates to around £408,000. During the time of Annie's illness, it was alleged that Palmer was having an affair with Eliza Tharn, his housemate. On the 27th of June, 1855, she gave birth to their illegitimate son, Alfred. To this day, there has never been any evidence to suggest Dr. Palmer killed his wife, but people continue to suspect and jump to the conclusion that he had in fact killed her. Following the success of his insurance payment, Palmer applied for an insurance policy on his brother Walter. 
He died shortly after a policy was taken out on him. However, this time, the insurance company refused to pay out. By this time, Palmer was heavily in debt and was also being blackmailed by a former lover who happened to be the daughter of a Staffordshire police officer. 14th of November 1855, Palmer and his friend Mr John Parsons Cook attended a race course and placed a bet. Cook got lucky and won £3,000, the equivalent to around £83,000 today, a tremendous amount of money for the time. Palmer unfortunately lost heavily on his bet. To celebrate the win, Cook and Palmer went for dinner together to a place called The Raven. A few hours later, Cook fell ill and returned to Rugeley with Palmer, taking up residence in the Talbot Inn. Cook never checked out. Alfred, Palmer's illegitimate son, died as an infant. A chambermaid sampled the broth made for Cook and she fell ill shortly after. Palmer travelled to London to collect Cook's winnings. Cook died at around 1pm. Cook's father insisted on investigating the cause of his son's death and it was found following post-mortem examination that a verdict of willful murder was returned. It was discovered that Palmer had been trying to bribe people involved in the coroner's inquest. It was then found that Palmer had in his possession a bottle of Streichnein just a few days before Cook's death and was therefore arrested. Following his arrest, the bodies of his wife and son Alfred were exhumed in the hope that they could find further evidence. However, there was a lack of indication on how they had died. Palmer's trial was transferred to the Old Bailey as it was thought having a jury from Staffordshire may be prejudiced by local hearsay. It had been recorded as one of the most sensational trials of British history and was the first ever conviction of murder. After Palmer's arrest, the significance of the trial led to an Act of Parliament, later known as the Palmer Act. A guilty verdict was reached and Palmer was sentenced to death. Palmer was said to have looked at the trapdoor and said, Are you sure this is safe? He was then hanged by the neck. It has never been established whether Palmer was guilty of all the deaths of those around him and Palmer did not show any care for those around him. He was described as a self-involved and ruthless man and his own family and patients had no trust in him. So, what do you think? Is it possible that Dr Palmer did murder his mother-in-law, brother and own friend or is it all just coincidental? It is suspected that Mr Palmer killed 15 people but there hasn't been enough evidence to support this. Thank you for watching and listening. I hope you enjoyed this first Murder Mysteries episode on the Rugeley Poisoner. Thank you.